Good day, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to use choice chips with conditional visibility. This is great method in case you want to filter data or if you are collecting information about the user. This is going to be short tutorial. So without further ado, let's start. First step is that I will add column to our canvas. Then inside the column, we are going to add choice chips. Then click on the column and expand it. Then click on the choice chips and position it to the center. Perfect. Then we can add our first chips. Let's add car and motorcycle in here. Also give this a bit of padding. Then we can duplicate this and change these to different car brands. Let's go with Mercedes, Audi, and Honda. Great. Now we need to add every possible combination that we want to our choice chips. I am going to speed this up, but you can fill this however you like. Okay, so now your choice chips should look something like this. Then it's time to add the conditional visibility. Click on the second row, add conditional visibility. Single condition. First choice chips must be equal to car. Then the second one. Single condition. Second choice chips. Must be equal to Mercedes. Then you apply the same kind of logic to all of these choice chips. I am going to speed this up a bit. Now there is one more thing to do before we can try out our app. Click on the first row and add action to it. Then select reset choice chip fields. Then select all of these except the first one. And now we can finally try out our app. Okay, so now if I select car choice chip, it's going to show me different car brands. And if I select brand, the app shows me different models of that brand. And if I click our first row, it clears all of our selections. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Have a wonderful day.